the last couple of days starting to get a little bit better of an appearance. I would say on satellite imagery here. It is very disorganized. It will probably stay disorganized through tomorrow because it is expected to move over uh, Cuba through tomorrow. So land interaction will play a part in how this eventually ends up this weekend into the eastern Gulf because that's where it looks like it's heading into the eastern Gulf of Mexico by this weekend. And then beyond that, it's hard to say exactly where it's going to go. So let's look at the big global models in good consistency now. I mean, the last couple days, things have been flipping and flopping, switching back and forth. Now we're in kind of good agreement here today that this is where it could be heading more so to the north northeast into western Florida by later this weekend and it looks like it could slow down off the southeast coast through early next week into the middle part of next week. It's still something to watch. Things can of course change as it interacts with Cuba through tomorrow. Where does it eventually track? It's hard to say exactly. The spaghetti model is now being run on this. Still don't know if it's going to be a little bit more to the west through the panhandle, a little bit more to the northeast, uh, closer to the Big Bend. That's something we'll be watching. So Florida certainly has to monitor this. They're going to be seeing the big impacts through this weekend. And the reason why it's taking on this position it's getting guided around this high pressure off to the east, but that trough coming down looks like it should scoop it up and take it with it and then will slow down as the trough lifts away and high pressure may start to build back in. So things looking good now for us so far. It looks like there are no concerns for the New Orleans area. Can't say to completely blow it off just yet. This is something you need to watch for big changes that may occur this weekend. But so far the big impacts look like a lot of rain for Florida later into the weekend through early next week. The rain probably extending into Georgia and to the Carolinas, especially if it takes that trajectory to the northeast and sits near the Carolinas. That's going to bring some pretty big rain. So we'll be watching this day to day over the next week, not expecting any impacts for our part of the Gulf, the New Orleans area from now through next Thursday, not anticipating any tropical concerns. Again, check it over at least once a day this weekend for any of those big swings that may occur.